cracked is cracked. Once the, the surfaces aren't touching, they're not performing correctly. One entire side is cracked through. The top is cracked through. It probably propagated from the top. That's what RDOT engineers had to say after crews found a crack on the Tennessee side of the I-40 bridge to Memphis. The issues led to weeks of backups and congestion. And the almost three years since Arkansas's Department of Transportation has upped its inspection standards. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Rolly Hoyt. And new tonight at 10, T311 Sarah Herbakowitz shows us why the ordeal is more than just water under the bridge. On your daily commute, you might not think too much about the roads and bridges underneath. But every day, RDOT employees do. Monday, we suited up with engineers as they inspect the Broadway Bridge, a road thousands of drivers cross daily. Get up in here. Year round, engineers like Andy Nanaman strap in and drop down, typically hundreds of feet in the air. So when you go under a bridge, what are you looking for? Any defects, anything that looks like it might have an issue, loose bolts corrosion, lost paint. RDOT goes within arm's reach of every bridge they're inspecting, and they do it more than the federal requirement, going under bridges more than they're over them. On a structure like this, the thing we're most concerned for is a crack, so that's why we get up close to floor beams and tie girders like this. For many Arkansans, maintenance concerns go back to the 2021 Memphis Bridge when a cracked beam shut down traffic caught by an RDOT employee. So we just found a, a super critical finding that, that needs traffic shut down in both directions on the I-40 Mississippi River Bridge. Have the way you inspect bridges changed since that crack? We have made our procedures a little more enhanced. We have a little more oversight. We have an engineer on site for structures like that that are inspected. Can a crack still happen? Cracks do happen, yes. They, they can still happen, and that's why we've got a good inspection program to find. While no problems were found Monday, if engineers ever do see one, Nanman says they'll work to fix it as soon as needed. Reporting in Little Rock, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV 11 News. She reporting in Little Rock or North Little Rock on which side of the river? Mm -hmm. Year-round RDOT inspects close to 13,000 bridges across the state. They're asking drivers to make sure they slow down when they come upon them in work zones. If you ever see something on a road or a bridge that looks concerning, you can use the Ask RDOT portal on their website.